Hi everyone, Tully here. We're in Suzuka on the holding camp, day one. We're all a little bit tired, but actually surprisingly I slept really well last night. A lot of people fell asleep on the coach, which wasn't great. We ended up, I think it was like half nine, 10 p.m. when we got here. So it was a pretty late one, long travel day. So I don't know how much I'll actually film today because we're getting in at lunchtime. So a bit of a different, I don't think many people saw this morning, a bit of a different thing. So. I thought I'd just film something, so I've bought my beanbag chair, which is really the only chair for me that helps helps refresh my muscles. So for me, recovery is a big thing because I use like I fatigue quicker uh, because of my neurological conditions. So even like being sat on laying down isn't as good as like laying on a beanbag chair because if, as long as you don't fill it too much, you can like fully sink in. So I bought my empty shell in my suitcase and I've ordered, well this is actually another bean bag but I'm just going to use the filling to fill it up so hopefully I don't make a massive mess, uh, although I think I will. Um, this ended up being much cheaper than actually buying um, just filling, just buying a bean bag chair stall thing to use the beans from. So yeah. Um, I really hope they have like a dustpan and brush or hoover here because it's I feel really bad I don't know everything in Japanese culture is like so clean and tidy and I mean in general public when we were here last time there's not bins like if you go to a train station there's not any bins you take all your rubbish with you uh, I think there was one very small bin on the train but just generally everything is you know very clean I remember last time I came instead of like when we got off off the flight Instead of going straight onto a coach, we actually got um, two bullet trains and then a coach. And obviously we've been traveling for a long time. So some of the athletes that have got like lower limb impairments or that were just tired, um, sat on the floor of the train station because there were no seats or benches. And someone came up and told them to get up. And we were told basically it's because you're sitting on a dirty floor and then you're gonna go sit on a seat and you're making that seat dirty for someone else. So it's all about, um, Caring about other people, looking about other people, and you know, like not not putting, not making anyone else dirty, you know, not not doing anything that's going to affect other people, which I really like. So I hope, I really hope I don't get this everywhere because I don't want to upset the cleaners. <laughs> right. Oh wow, um, okay, so these are absolutely tiny. <laughs> oh wow, this is, yeah, this is gonna take some time. Right. Oh, these are like micro beads, honestly. I'll have to show you in a minute. They're tiny. Right, this is probably gonna take a lot longer than I have because we have Honestly, today's a bit strange. We've got the PCR test from 12 to 12.30. It's now like 10 to 12. And then we're training, people starting at one, training half one until I think three. Uh, I have no idea where lunch fits into that. So yeah, I'm a little bit unorganized today, but I have organized most of my stuff. I think you probably see the suitcases in that behind me. I've organized most of my stuff. Oh no, I'm making a mess. Most of my stuff. So like I've got obviously what I need for training. So that's good. Right, I might have to ask someone else to help with this because this is um yeah, this is very I'll probably uh, show you the finished product because this is creating a massive mess. Right, so I just got back from the PCR test. I kinda gave up on the bean bag and asked for some help. I'm gonna get stuff in to help me later and hopefully sweep up the mess I made because I don't wanna leave that for the cleaners. Uh, we got some goodies. So we got a t-shirt. It's British Parasurin Team Holding Camp in Suzuka, which is pretty cool. And a towel. But it's a very nice big towel. So the the towels here, I have to show you that they're literally tiny. So mm. like an actual proper towel. That's not our, obviously we've got the GB ones, but um, we're allowed to like I can put this on my chair. 
so that my cushion doesn't get wet that'd be better than the thin ones because I've just got the GB ones and they're quite thin as well because I mean it is generally pretty hot here although it is raining today so yeah but I think it's humid out so um, now we've got a 15 minute gap until lunch and then off to the pool for uh, afternoon swim it's really strange I don't think I've ever swum this early we're swimming at like half one so very strange but yeah I'll probably I'm not sure if I'll actually film it I don't really want to annoy the coaches on the first day but I like you know putting cameras everywhere but I might film some of it I might do time lapse on the pool side or something easy um, so yeah you might see some footage you might not days later now since you saw the last swim footage so I got a member of staff to help me with the bean bags and honestly it went absolutely everywhere it took us a very long time until we kind of gave up and just got the bag cut with my scissors and they literally flew everywhere and after all that hassle we realized it just wasn't enough beans so I had to order some more on Amazon which took a couple of days to come so they arrived yesterday so if I show you, I thought I was ordering two large bags of these bean bags, which I found were a little bit bigger than the ones I'd ordered. They were so small, and that seems to be traditional for Japanese bean bag filling because that's all I could find on Amazon. Uh, but when the box arrived, they arrived in these tiny little bags. And I didn't realise this until it was too late. So the lovely reception staff, and I can't remember her name, but there's a lovely lady who showed us around when we came here the first time on the camp in 2020. And um, they offered to do it for me. And by the time they'd opened the boxes, like, I'd already said yes. And I honestly thought it'd be really easy. They'd just tip it in and be done. Did not realise that it was in tiny bags. They had to pour like 30 or 40 of those individual bags into the bean bag and I felt so bad because I didn't realise they were individually wrapped and then they bought me a hoover like this really cool little wireless hoover to hoover up which is cool but now I have my chill out space so my bean bag is nice and full so if I show you my room a bit so these rooms had two beds in a little side table and two chairs so I got them to remove a bed and the extra furniture. So I've got a nice empty space here. My bed, little desk area, tri rides over there. And then I've got a nice space because I didn't want my bed under the air conditioning. I've got a nice space for all my luggage. I can reach the curtains, the windows. Um, and I've still got an area for my bean bag and to stretch. And obviously this is in the way. Um, but it's kind of working good as a bedside table with all my extra beans in. So I will get my wedge for my legs filled up soon. Um, but yeah, just a little update. I'm about to go in the gym in a bit. So I'm back from the gym now. I actually ended up doing gym and rehab. So got a big day tomorrow. 
first time in about two years that I'll be doing a double, so swimming twice in one day. So obviously for competing I need to be able to do that for heats and finals. So it's going to be the end of the video.